Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It is Class of Friday, where we look at a G.I. Joe classified series figure every Friday, and it is the final Class of Friday of Cobra Convergence 6. This time we are looking at a figure that a lot of other people have already reviewed, including Cobra Convergence 6 participants, so I'm a little late to the game here, but better late than never, and I thought this would be a good way to wrap up the event. This is Croc Master and Fiona. Full disclosure, I did not purchase this figure this was sent to me by Hasbro. Let's look at the packaging. We have the window pane that shows the figure and the accessories and the very large crocodile. We have the G.I. Joe classified series logo. This is Croc Master and Fiona. Fiona is the name of the crocodile. We have some package art on the front and on the side showing Croc Master and Fiona and I really like this. I like the detail. I like the lighting effects and the color. I think this is some excellent package artwork that captures the character of Croc Master. This is number 38 in the classified series and on the back we have some poster artwork and this is a bit different. I have not seen this particular artwork and it looks pretty good. It's not as nice as a file card but the artwork itself is fine. On the other side of the box we have these symbols which represent his specialties. This is the first version of Captain America's shield. This means his favorite 1990s G.I. Joe action figure is Mace. This is three donuts of different sizes viewed from the sides, no frosting or sprinkles on those, and this is flaming poop. Let's take Croc Master and Fiona out of the box and take a look at them. Here are Croc Master and Fiona out of the packaging. This figure and animal companion are inspired by the 1987 Croc Master version 1. The inspiration is pretty direct. This is an upscaled and more detailed version of that 1987 figure. Let's take a look at Croc Master's accessories and let's start with with the crocodile, Fiona, even though it's not really an accessory. This crocodile is inspired by the alligator that came with version 1 Croc Master. That's right, Croc Master came with an alligator, but this is a proper crocodile, and what a croc! This is not just a lump of plastic. This is highly detailed and articulated. You have to see how many ways this thing can move. First, the mouth opens, and the inside of the mouth is painted and highly detailed. He has articulated at the neck and that's a ball joint so it can move pretty well. He has articulation on the front legs at the shoulder so he can move both front legs and the front feet move as well, so that's another point of articulation. Then he has another cut just behind the legs, kind of under the shoulders, and that's another ball joint, so he can move pretty well there as well. The back legs are articulated and the back feet as well. And the tail has a ball joint at the base, so it can move uh, at the base, but it's also a bendy tail, so you can bend the tail any way you want it. I always wanted to do this with a crocodile, and now I can. The eyes are painted in, and they look very menacing. There's a realistic texture all over this crocodile, and if you look closely, you can see some scars, where this guy has definitely been in some fights. There are multiple color shades along the back of Fiona, and a lighter paint on the underside. This is an amazing crocodile, even outside of the context of G.I. Joe. If you wanted a highly detailed and highly articulated crocodile, you can't beat this. Fiona even comes with a couple baby crocodiles. These are Fiona's children, Laurel and Hardy. These are Fiona's children, Luke and Leia. These are Fiona's children, Thelma and Louise. These are Fiona's children, Riggs and Murtaugh. Let's take a look at some actual accessories, and let's start with this chain collar for the crocodile. This collar piece is a solid piece of plastic. It is flexible, though. It has a silver chain and a handle. It has a tan collar belt and silver spikes. This is an improvement on the chain and collar that came with version 1 Croc Master. This was way too short and difficult for Croc Master to use. This is much more functional. He includes this silver hook, which does not have a vintage accessory analog. I'm told this is used to open the crocodile's mouth, and I'm sure it could be used for that. I think it should be used to replace Croc Master's hand after the croc bites it off. The next accessory is this whip. The whip 
fits in the figure's hand, as you can see. Uh, it is in black plastic, and it's kind of curled like this. You can uh, stretch it out. It is flexible. Uh, it's mostly black with a green textured wrap around the handle. Version 1 Crocmaster also included a whip. It's very different in color and design and overall functionality. This is one instance where I think I like the vintage accessory better. That curl is just too dramatic. Crocmaster has a left side holster, suggesting he is left handed. The vintage figure also had a left side holster. On the classified figure though, the gun is removable. The gun is a revolver. It is in black plastic. It has a hole in the barrel for blast effects. The detail is pretty good. It looks like a hand cannon. I think Crocmaster will let his reptiles do most of the fighting for him. There's one more removable accessory, at least one that's intended to be removed, and that is the knife on the right ankle. It's a tight fit. The knife looks like a big Bowie knife. It is in flexible plastic, so it's not likely to break. It is silver with a green textured handle. Even though it's not packed separately in the packaging, this hose connected to his mask can be taken off. That is connected to a tank that's pegged onto his back, and that can also be removed. This is a callback to the hose accessory piece on the vintage figure. That hose on the vintage figure is often missing. It's very difficult to collect, and that hose connects just to the shoulder. It's not really connected to any Thing. This at least connects to an oxygen tank, or maybe it's like a helium tank to make Crocmaster's voice sound funny. Let's take a look at Crocmaster's articulation. He has the articulation that's standard for classified figures, which is generally pretty good, and he's not wearing any vests or anything like that to obstruct the articulation. His head is on a ball joint, and he has a swivel neck, so he has an excellent range of motion at the head. You can pretty much turn the head any way you want. He has butterfly joints at the shoulders, which always on mine they just barely move. He can swing his arm up at the shoulder and swivel at the shoulder all the way around. He has a twist at the bicep. He has double jointed elbows. He has swivels at the wrist and both wrists have in and out hinges. He has a hinge at the rib cage so he can do an ab crunch and move back so good range of motion there. Like I said nothing to obstruct it. He's also articulated at the waist. He has a wide leg split, and his legs can move forward and back a little bit, not very much. He has a twist at the thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has a twist at the boot cut, and he has hinged and rocker ankles. Let's look at the sculpt design and color of Crocmaster, and this figure is directly inspired by that 1987 figure. Almost every element is copied over. So if there's anything unique about this guy, it's going to be in the fine details. He's wearing a black mask over his entire head. He has red eyes. Those are some kind of lenses, I guess. Then he has this silver respirator looking like a Batman villain. He has some stitching on the mask where it's apparently been damaged and repaired. He's wearing a croc skin tank top with exposed neck and arms that is green with a lighter green on the front. He has a black disc on the right side with a red cobra emblem. Notice the texture on the front is similar to the belly on Fiona and the back is similar to the back of the crocodile. So I think it's implied this is an actual crocodile skin vest. His arms are bare and hyper muscular. He has a silver forearm guard on the right arm and a crocodile skin forearm guard on the left arm and he's wearing black gloves. He's wearing a silver belt with yellow details and that belt has a buckle in the back. I like that. That looks really good. In the front he has this large yellow reptilian eye. That was always a shocking detail on the original figure and it still is. Looks like there's a, a faint red ring around that yellow eye. Let's not forget the green reptilian skin codpiece. We wouldn't want to forget that. His legs are black and there are some seam lines and some texture and some knee pads. Not a ton of detail on the legs. He has a brown holster on his left leg and that holster has a reptilian skin texture. Finally we get to his boots and he has green reptile skin boots and these boots look pretty good but one complaint I have is the hinges are black rather than the green color of the boot and that doesn't look too good. We finish up with the brown knife 
knife sheath on the right boot. What can I say about this figure that hasn't already been said? It's amazing. It's very well done. It's highly detailed. A lot of effort went into this. The figure is impressive and the crocodile almost outshines the figure. Fiona is amazing. I didn't think they could do that much with a crocodile. Do I like this figure? Well, it's Croc Master. I wasn't a fan of the original Croc Master and I haven't changed my mind. Obviously Croc Master has some fans and this figure may have created some new Croc Master fans, but I'm just not one of them. This classified Croc Master though does about as well as any figure could of making Croc Master look cool. That was my review of Croc Master and Fiona. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed Cobra Convergence this year. So many people have put in so much effort to bring you some amazing Cobra content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. That's what helps this channel grow. You can find me on social media on Facebook and Twitter and I have a website hcc788.com. If you would like to support the channel, Patreon is a great way to do it. I could not do this without the support of my friends on Patreon. You could get some special perks and get your name in videos like the names you see scrolling on your screen right now. I'll see you one more time this month to wrap up Cobra Convergence 6. Until then, remember, only Cobra is Cobra.